Hi, hola, my name is Claudia Rogers and I'm an H2A coordinator at Walter P. Rowe. You are watching Take 5, episode 29. Hello everyone, this is Jessica Montes from the HR department. Um, I wanted to thank everybody so much for coming to the fair last week and getting your free flu shot. If you missed it, you can still get the flu shot for free by visiting Morgan's Pharmacies um, through the end of the month. They have three locations. One is in Batesburg, one in Gilbert, and one in Williston. There should be posters around the facility with their um, address and their hours. Um, the only thing that you have to do to get the flu shot for free at their pharmacy is make sure you bring your Walter Piro badge with your um, picture and name. If you don't have one, uh, please come see HR to get a voucher and uh, you'll be able to get the flu shot for free. Again, it's through the end of the month, so from now until October 31st, uh, make sure you go get your flu shot for free. Take advantage of this opportunity. Stay safe. Hey everybody, Karen Porth here reporting for the Transportation Department at Walter P. Rawl. Today I just wanted to talk with you real quick about the hours of service rules. There are a couple changes that have um, taken place and that have gone into effect effective September 28th of this year. The Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration um, has put this out and made it effective Monday, September 28th. And I just wanted to go over those four key changes with you. One is the agency will increase safety and flexibility for the 30 minute break rule by requiring a break after eight hours of consecutive driving and allowing the break to be satisfied by a driver using on duty, not driving status, rather than off duty status. Um, the other, uh, another one is the agency will modify the sleeper birth exception to allow drivers to split their required 10 hours off duty into two periods, an 8-2 uh, split or a 7-3 split, with neither period counting against the driver's 14 hour window, driving window. The agency will modify the adverse driving conditions exception by extending by two hours the maximum window during which driving is permitted. And lastly, the agency will change the short haul exception available to certain commercial drivers by lengthening the driver's maximum on-duty period from 12 to 14 hours and extending the, the distance limit within which the driver may operate from 100 air miles to 150 air miles. The FMCSA says that these changes are designed to give truckers increased flexibility while preserving highway safety. So just wanted to um, recap on that to let you know that you know our drivers are adjusting to quite a bit this year amid the COVID pandemic and this is just one more thing that they've adjusted to and so we just want to again say thank you. We appreciate all that you do and um, I hope everyone stays safe and has a great day. Thank you so much. Hey everybody, quick reminder to go vote uh, for WP Raw in another vote. This is for best local produce in Lexington. And so uh, you can find the link in, in the description of this video. And uh, we've been nominated and won this before and we would certainly love your vote to, uh, to win this again. So thank you. Hey y'all, how are you guys? I hope you're doing good. Um, I'm Brenda and I have I'm Matt and we are here to talk to you guys about some exciting changes coming to our Walter P. Rawl and Sons production workforce. Um, Matt, take it away. Yes, yeah, so what, what I'm sure you know is what we do here is way more than to be called general. So, you know, in doing so, we thought about it would be a good idea to maybe change things up a little bit and change your name. So right now, everyone in our production workforce is being called a general production worker or a general production line lead, a general production trainer. Um, and like Matt said, what we do here is not general. We are literally feeding America, especially during this time of COVID, we are feeding and keeping America going. So we took a moment and we thought about, well, what name would exemplify our workforce? And we thought of... Product controller. So from now on, um, our general line workers, our general production workers are no longer gonna have that 
word general. Um, everyone on their production floor is going to be called from now on a product controller. And our product controllers are going to be divided up into product controller light lifter or a product controller heavy lifter. If you're in repack, if you're in the salad department, if you're in our greens department, everyone will be a product controller. Hey Brenda, check this out. So let's say we were at the club. That's right. I can see this. And somebody walked up to you and was like, you look very interesting. What do you do for a living? Well, and, I'm a general line worker. Oh, uh, bye girl. But now that you know that you are more than just general, you're a product controller. Let's try that again. Man, you look very interesting. Can you tell me a little bit about what do you do for a living? Well, I'm a product controller. Hey, can I get the can I get your number? Yeah, give me your phone. I'll put in my digits. All right, you got it. So, Brenda, wouldn't you agree that our new name is a little bit more attractive? I agree. I like it. All right, we like it, and we hope that you like it as well. So, congratulations. Welcome to becoming a product controller. Yay! Hey everybody, who's it gonna be? Collar Kale 2020? Mustard Turnip 2020? You decide this Tuesday, October 20th through October 27th, we're gonna be hosting the Leafy Greens Party vote. What's at stake? The face of the Leafy Greens Party, who's got bragging rights, collard kale or mustard turnip, and then also even more importantly, uh, we are going to be donating uh, money towards two amazing nonprofits. One is Light the Night, and the other is the American Red Cross. Um, and we're going to be doing that based on the amount of votes that we get. So get the word out. Let's get as many votes as possible, and, uh, and let's all contribute to something really good. All right, collard kale, mustard turnip, you decide.